Hi, Greg over at DIY RV and Home and Camper's Life. Today I'm just going to walk through the old 2018 Coleman Lantern 202RD. Show you some of the stuff that I did to it. Um, she's up for sale and uh, she's going to be going down the road soon. So I thought I'd uh, let you see some of the stuff I've done. And then also key in, because right there, the 2003 Fleetwood Prowler. It's going to get some of the mods that I've done to this one. Yes, I've liked some of the mods I've done here. I'm going to put a new in there. I'm leaving the old stuff here. Well, most of it. So real quick, just off the front, just to show you. Uh, we do have a big level up front that I put on. That thing is really nice. Allows us to get that sucker uh, leveled real easy. I can just look in the mirror and get it done. Um, we do have a five battery box here. Um, I did have some lithium in there. I did take those out. I do have one uh, 12 volt uh, lead acid in, in there for whoever gets it. Um, now you've seen the solar preps um, on a lot of trailers that come with solar prep. Essentially what it is, is it's an uh, out, outlet or an inlet wired directly to your battery. Well, I didn't like the fact that it was limited to 10 amps, they say. So I put 45 amp uh, Anderson power pole plug in, modified that. And then inside, I added a PWM charge controller right there. Now that's just for the outside uh, ground panel. So you can put actually 200 uh, watts of solar on. If you look inside, you'll see there's a box right there on the front nose. I'll show you what that is a little bit later. Got a nice uh, walkthrough. There is the weight distribution hitch, the sway control, and there's actually a, a, a generic x shock that comes with it uh, for uh, the tire covers. There's another battery. That battery's not uh, in good condition, but it could be used as a core. No, those few things weren't mods, but they were just things that were in there that I saw. So, uh, torque lift, glow step revolution steps. Awesome steps, real nice and firm. Uh, they've got three positions here, allow you to adjust for your different uh, inclines that you may be on or your the different uh, uh, adjustments you need to try to get these leveled out. And also you do have seven inches of travel down here on these. These are awesome. I really do appreciate uh, Torque Lift sending these out to us. We put brand new tires all the way around this uh, back in August, the end of August, just before we left. You can see there's going to be bug uh, screens on all the vents, even the refrigerator. You can see this is where the spare tire did go, but because I did put a uh, hitch on the back and I also have bumper supports, bumper struts, that way that allowed us to put um, a cargo carrier on. I'm taking the cargo carrier, but that's there of course we got our sticker right there oh going up further we have a backup camera rear monitor camera always ran that uh, when we were going down the road it was great to be able to see what was going on behind us again we've got bug screen here uh, now the water heater and also the furnace have uh, dinosaur motherboards uh, in them I've had to replace them and I went with the upgrades you can see that we have a shore power inlet here. Um, I changed that out from the old pull out uh, cord. So we've got that there. Uh, that's just a little bracket for a uh, base plate of that. So inside here, you'll have your torsion bars. You'll have your 30 amp cord and you'll have the adapter to take it down to 15 amp. Ah, you got some backup balls. Those are wonderful. I've got some videos on it. Um, up here you have the control for the MPPT charge controller from the solar panels that are up on the roof. We open this up and this is the install that I did. Now you can't see it all, but there is a Renergy 2000 watt inverter. You've got a EV Ever, EP Ever, uh, MPPT charge controller. You've got a battery monitor. You can see we've got a fuse here. We also have a catastrophic inside the battery box. Additional fuse panel. We do have a way to disconnect the solar on the roof. Also to disconnect the batteries. Now this right here has four screws and the whole thing can come out or you can just pull the pins on this and just 
access this. And really, I just took a nail and that's all I needed to close that and keep it closed. But, so that was a pretty good uh, install of electrical equipment upgrade. And again, like I said, up on the roof, I got 500 watts of solar. Let me bring you around and you can see part of them. You can see there's four right there and then there's one more on the passenger side. Uh, we do have a soft start on the AC unit. Um, I put a uh, extended antenna for the rear backup camera. Uh, got that nice handle there. We installed that now. As you can see, there's an older lock on it, yes. We don't have the uh, keyless lock. That's over on our trailer. That was awesome. But talking about locks, let me get this set. You can see you got barrel locks. And I put them on both sides help for security, but the barrel locks, they're not that uh, CH 157, or excuse me, 751 that most people have. Let's go on inside and let's take a look. Okay. Now you see we've got actually a USB fan right above the bed. And we've got USB outlets that I've added. We didn't have it when we cut when the trailer was bought new. I did add some shelves. They're easily removed if wanted, but they're there. This board right here has spot so you can put a TV. The outlet is down there, but they didn't have a prep area for TV, so I put that board to make sure that it wouldn't fall. I added a curtain to close off the bedroom to the rest. In the wintertime, I just get up, flip my inverter, power up the AC. As you can see right now, I'm showing 100% on my batteries. Um, and that's how I power the entire trailer. I can run microwave, um, refrigerator if I want, one or two depending on how many batteries you had. Even I've been able to run the AC unit too with that uh, soft start. Flip that off right now. You can see I've got a Honeywell uh, non-programmable digital thermostat or uh, heater control in here. Thermostat works awesome. Get up in the morning, just boom, boom, wherever you want it, and it goes. This right here would actually be able to black out or help darken uh, this window here. There's some uh, command hooks there. Uh, that little magnet right there, this door has a tendency, no matter what, to want to keep closed. So I put a magnet there, and it just just enough to keep the door open. We put some baskets in the shower bathroom area. Uh, we've got this for towel racks. Uh, you can see now if you uh, have looked at any of the 202 RDs, this counter usually came out like this and came over and came back in. It kind of made it really, really tight area here. So I changed out the sink, faucet, and put a different top in here to make it cleaner, nicer. Added a little bit of backsplash. Again, curtain. We set it up to where it gives you a feeling of a lot more room inside that shower than there is. Oxygenic shower head. Again, here's another nice uh, rack that we've installed. Uh, we do have a max air fan 10 speed in out uh, real nice unit and it's also got a cover on it uh, light switch for the bathroom has been uh, changed that to a bigger switch that was to help my wife out it when she needed it at times close that we open up the pantry you see the lights come on automatically uh, there's led lights throughout on a magnetic reed switch Something I forgot to tell you, but this switch right here operates a fan for the back of the refrigerator to help with uh, moving air in the heat to allow for cooling. So we've got that. Oops, let's see those open. This was blocked off when we got the trailer. Uh, there were some options for it, so I busted it out, lined it. Very useful, very nice. You see the Wii Boost right here. We've got that antenna up on top. Um, this was paneled off. This one was paneled off. And this one was paneled off. 
And as you can see, I just blew that one out. Blew that one, but I did put a uh, wall on it. And blew that one out. So much nicer just to be able to throw stuff up there and be able to get it through here. I never had a real big problem. I think we had one plate fall once. We had our plates right here. Up here, same thing. This was blocked off. Um, I pushed it back. There is an outlet just behind it. That's why it's just that far. Um, we put a USB outlet here. Originally it was a utility outlet, then it went to a USB where you can uh, charge phones and stuff like that. That's what we had that for. You see it does come with a TV, so you can take this TV to the front if you want. Um, it is a TV DVD player. All the remotes right there. Again, we put more racks just for storage. It helped out. All of the balances and curtains have been changed out. You can see here, there is a shelf uh, where the jackknife used to be. Some cushions here and underneath is storage water heater. Uh, that was done um, because we are we're living in it full time. It does give it like a nice little day bench seat. You know, as you see over here, we took out the dinette, put in a butcher block table, and uh, added a couple office chairs. Underneath, we do have the wire racks for additional storage. And if you notice up on top of the shelf there, there are holes with grommets for wire pass-through. Again, over here, same thing. We did have a coffee maker and a ice maker here. We have power there, which it actually comes from this outlet down here. Ah, oh, yes. Knife rack. We put that on, the magnetic rack. I uh, hadn't had any sink, any problems with that going down the road with the knife falling off or anything like that. You can see we put tile back here. You know, it's just the press and stick. And it's been doing a real good job. There's one little spot that's kind of buckled out. But I think that's just from... Uh, uh, Expansion and contraction. Uh, custom uh, top. Now this was made by some friends, but unfortunately it doesn't fit our new trailer, so it's going to stay with this one. We have used the oven and the stove. No problem. Microwave works great also. Up here, we've got storage too. Uh, I added some blocks just to kind of make a additional counter space because there's really no counter space in here. I think, I think, that's about all the stuff I've done to this that I can think of. It's uh, kind of, uh, well, it's, I don't, know, I don't know how to say it. I mean, I'm, I'm I, I loved the trailer. I loved the build. It was fun. It was our first uh, new trailer. I mean, the other one's a 2013. This is, or excuse me, 2003. This is a 2018. We bought it brand new. Um, and uh, we started full time and it. it's, it's been a blast. But uh, it's time to go to someone who uh, can utilize it. And like I say, I mean, it actually will do awesome for somebody that uh, maybe needs an office uh, versus more of a entertainment area. I mean, this really, there's not much room for entertainment in here. It never was. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the walk around of the trailer and some of the projects that I've done. Uh, Got to keep it clean, kick out a rock. And, uh, you know, if you're uh, interested, give me a message. Uh, we'd like to talk. But until then, happy camping.